Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to CSS Flexbox tutorial. In order to give you a quick overview about Flexbox, I will go through some slides to introduce the basic concepts and some examples and properties of Flexbox. Then we will jump into VS Code to apply the example. Flexbox, short for flexible box layout, is a layout model in CSS that provides an efficient way to distribute and align item within a container even when their size is unknown or dynamic. It is designed to provide a more efficient way to layout align and distribute space among items in a container. Flexbox is primary one-dimensional layout model. Flexbox deal with layout in either row or column but not both simultaneously. It is automatically adjust size of items to fill available space or shrink them to prevent overflow. Unlike traditional layout, block is vertically based and inline is horizontally based. It can lay out items in any direction, row or column. Alignment and justification is easily align and justify content within the container, both horizontally and vertically. And it change the visual order of the element without changing the HTML. Flex container can be nested inside another flexed container to create a complex layout. So we have a basic concept of flexbox. We have flex container and we have flex item. The fl flex container, the parent element, which is flex items are placed in. It became flex container when you apply display flex and the children element of the flex container are which place inside and you can use flex item order or you can align item or flex grow or justify content in order to use properties in the children. So we have flex container, flex items. They are class name and you can name it whatever name you want to name. And we have main axis and cross axis. Main axis is a primary the axis along which flex item are laid out the direction of the main axis depend on the flex direction property if flex direction is set to row like this one the main axis run horizontally from left to right if the direction is set to column like this one the flex the main axis run vertically from top to bottom we have a cross axis this is perpendicular to the main axis or flex direction row the cross axis run vertically and for flex direction column is run horizontally. We have a main size. The main size refer to the size of flex container or item along with the main axis. For row, this would be the width of the container and for the column, it would be the height. So we have a cross size. This is a size of a flex container or item along with the cross axis. For row, it would be with the size and for column, it would be the width. And we have a main start and main end. These terms indicate the starting and ending point of flex items along with the main axis. We have a cross start and we have a cross end. Similarly, this refer to the start and end point along with the cross axis. Cross start is where item start and cross end is where the items end. When the flex direction is row, the main axis is horizontal and the cross axis is vertical. Main size correspond to width and cross size correspond to height. When flex direction is column, the main axis is vertical and the cross axis is horizontal. Main size correspond to height and cross size correspond to width. So this is uh, important to remember. Now uh, these properties, uh, flex properties, you they we have both we can use uh, on flex container and flex item there are many but we will we will jump into vs code in order to use these examples for no to know more about flexbox okay now let's get it started i have here html which is empty and style css which is also empty and what i'm going to do is create a starting point of a boilerplate by you have two ways to do either you write html colon five and press tab or you can just write exclamation mark and press tab and here you got a starting point of a boilerplate so let's quickly change our title here and call it css flexbox or you can and choose your name so in the body here we are going to take a very simple example i will not include whole page but i will have header let's call it css flexbox and i will have flex container the flex container and in the flex container i will have a flex item and let's call them flex item uh, is a class and i want uh, three of them and this is shortcut you can use and in each one I need let's call it box and this is the dollar sign is the number of items is starting from one so when you press tab you have uh, three boxes when you save it you have here three and one more thing that I'm going to have is I want to have a footer and in the footer I just want copyright and 
and copy right say and write your name here now i have a header three boxes and a footer link our css here link and bring our css here and if you save that you should have three items header and footer now let's go to our css and do some standard styling here um, let's choose our universal selector and say add margin zero say padding zero as well and say box sizing added body box now let's set our uh, header and the footer footer at the bottom of page and and header at the top of page in order to have a space in the main body in order to work with the flex container so let's say header and in the header i want play flex the justify content i want it to be center padding say 8 pixel font size to have 20 pixel add background color code 226 color to be hexacode fff which is white and let's say top zero the width 100 percent and in order to ensure that headers stay above other content so let's say z index and now we do this exactly the same for the footer and we say and let's just grab everything from here and paste it here save it and in a state of top here it should be bottom and add position here fixed we do this also position fixed let's go for the body and for the body let's padding top let's say 50 pixel now we have set header at the top and footer at the bottom so we have flex container now we are working with before we start with the flex container let's just choose flex item in order to give them background color and make them boxes in order to be seen while we are working with flex container and in that we are choosing its class say flex item and in the flex item i want background color to be hexacode which is c84 height to 100 pixel with 100 pixel as well margin 8 pixel border radius 8 pixel say box shadow 2 pixel 4 pixel 6 pixel color to be black color say f and font size 20 pixel now we have our boxes in order to see how this uh, flex box work so we need to target flex container which is container and in that case we say flex container and remember that for the flex container we uh, need to apply display property and in that case we say display flex and as soon as we dis we display flex it's turned to row so which is a uh, main axis it is horizontally this way so left to right and the first property that we are going to use is justify content and for justify content we have a number of property that we are going to use when we say justify content and we have you know start end center space around space between to see how this works before that let's change the background color in order to see where it's moving so let's choose hexacode which you see which is gray now we see the background container and this is this is all container and these are items so to justify content let's say center and is moved at the center of the main container and when we say start you know it is a it is a default setting which is the start and when we say end it's put the the, the items at the end and we have a space around which is put you know a space between each box at same size and if you see this is a double of this 
because it had space here and a space here which is double and, and the beginning as well so when we say space between in the space between which is only between between the items not add in the beginning uh, and at the end so and we have space evenly distribute items so that the spacing between any two items uh, is equal we have another property uh, which is uh, flex one and this flex one is applied to a flex item which is a child element for flex container and flex one you know shorthand uh, is equivalent to flex grow one flex shrink one and flex basis zero it means that the flex item is allowed to grow and shrink as needed it is uh, initial size flex basis is set to zero so essentially this makes the items flexible allowing to adjust the size based on available space let's see uh, now it's you know shrinking until it's come to the size that we specified here 100 pixel width and it's up let's take another example uh, which is responsive layout with the wrap without using media query and in this let's just call it a container without flex in order to style differently in the container same we'll have a three and in that now i have a three items flex container is container and flex items are items and uh, let's do the same as we did with the boxes but with different color and in that we choose a class of items we give exactly same uh, size but different color let's give it to blue which is zero zero ff and now we have uh, three boxes here so for the container let's say container here we have a flex container for sure i need to display flex property to enable flexible box say display flex let's say flex wrap flex wrap is uh, this property determine how flex items behave when they cannot you know all fit in one line within you know flex container the wrap value here the wrap value mean that the flex item will wrap onto multiple lines as needed within the property all items would be squeezed onto a single line regardless of their size or container weights so big bigger here uh, let's say widths to uh, 200 pixel let's come back to ex example one in the flex container we can set horizontally or vertically so when we display flex it's a line item horizontally let's say a line item here a line item what it does is you know you know centered vertically so let's say center and in order to see that let's give it height say 300 pixel you know center align at the center here and when you say start start set them up here and we have another property which is end but if you don't give you know height to the container you will not see this because the space will be too small so we have you know align item vertically and horizontally so when it's vertically from top to bottom and horizontally from left to right so and and that you can just use height to see that and the property that we use is align item and in the item we can use text align let's say center and as you see here you know the box text box is aligned as a center it aligned at the end as you know horizontally not vertically set it as a center and let's comment this out add one more here and change the width now as you see when the size is bigger it is automatically you know wrap them down to a smaller size until we reach the width of 200 so this is uh what's good about wrapping but if we want to center this 
uh, we can use property inside the flex item which is display flex as well and in here we need to say align item center and use justify content so justify content display flex and align item could be this property could be used uh, in flex container and flex item but when you're using in flex item justify content or align item you need to use display flex as well so when we say center and you center the text at the center of the content and you can use end and you can use this is what's good about flex item and flex so you can set things inside the box anywhere at the column or row at the center at the end start so when we say align item center we say start and it start at the top and the center and come back to center so this is how you can use display flex inside the flex item not flex container because this property is actually for display flex to grow different values let's take another example and now let's go to html file in order to create three items now i have a flex item one two three and here we have two ways to use grow different values either we can use add a specific class attribute here in the in the flex and the class should be let's say style and in the style here we need to add say flex grow grow one two three four as you want or we can just uh, use and uh, normally here uh, you know targeting sudo element of the first second third so let's uh, try both of these examples uh, first let's take a sudo element and then we come back and apply class inside the html in order to see how this work you know set them boxes as we did for the and change different color the item is called dot flex now i have three boxes here all right let's add this uh, different background in order to see uh, which you know background we are working with and uh, let's say background color now this is this background is for the second example and the last one is we are going to work with right now so let's call it flex let's call it two and uh, let's say display flex tight 150 and let's give it background color say background color is cvc save that and you know targeting by you know pseudo element and in that we call it uh, flex and ends of type uh, this pseudo class that match element based on their position among other element of the same type within their parent container so what this selector do is is used to target a specific element within a container based on their tag name so we have a tag name flex and their position among the element of the same type so we have here one flex one two three so we can target specifically by it is number uh, in order to apply you know a specific uh, style so now we need to add the numbers here so let's say number one uh, here we have this is a number one so flex item uh, flex item one is number one selector is uh, we select number one which is so now we can use this to specify uh, how big it should be the grown so two and this is three here we have a three pseudo selector what it does is it means this one mean that it will be grow to fill the space uh, in the container but it will grow as at the rate of one compared to uh, their items and number two is uh, you know grow twice as fast as the first item uh, the number one and it will take up to more you know more space in the flex container relatively to the first one and and number three uh, it will grow three times as fast as the first item and occupy the most space in the 
flex container. Now, uh, in order to use this property, we call order. And in the order, we need to decide where to be. And I want to be number three here. And as I choose number three, so instead of one, it's became number three. Flex grow, let's say one. And relatively, we do the same to the second one. And let's say I want this order two. And I want it to grow. I mean, flex grow two. It's automatically changed the size. And now let's go to number three. And let's say order one. And I want flex grow to one. And now as we, you know, we target number two, number three to be one and number two to be two. Say this is, I want to grow three. So now order one and flex grow three. We choose to be three, uh, you know, to type one to be three and to grow one. And the, the last one is three, which we said order order one and so so forth so you can change this to to be two and we can change this one you know one three two so no, you can you can target you know different sizes you know one to be one two to be two three to be three or you can just uh, choose both of them to be the same size uh, let's say say one here to be also two to also to have a size of one one and now number three is bigger than the, the rest of them so you can play with this this is the first example and now let's comment this out and use use a class of uh, flex grow in the html file now let's come here in the class of items so let's say and in this style we call it flex grow and we need to give a number flex grow one here two three now as soon as we save it you know the, the size is changed one two three it is automatically when you display flex here it is change the size and take different size so let's say we want this to be number you know flex grow item three to be size of one it automatically changed the size and number two became larger and let's say I want this number one to be, you know, big as number three. So now this is a different, you know, a style that you can choose inside HTML. So now let's take uh, another example that how to align, you know, individuals item differently. Example four. And let's just go to HTML and add three uh, more items. Apply that. So let's add flex container, uh, let's say flex container three and in here add three item. Go ahead and save this. You have start, center, end. And let's just quickly give uh, boxes and in order to apply the property of, you know, align it differently. Now I have these three boxes start center and end in order to align them differently i need to add a class here let's call the class here align start second one is align center and the last one is align end now let's go to the css and in the flex container flex container Call it number three and in the flex container i say display flex here justify content to be space around and i want align item flex start so the flex start value align you know the item to start the container along with the cross axis in the row direction uh, bear in mind so and then uh, we need to give it height in order to see where when we are aligning the theme. So let's get just give it a height to 200 pixel. And in that we need to give a background color. 
in order to see where the the size of the cantina so let's now we have these three items and you know align them differently we have three properties we can use them and these three are uh, we need to target you know the, the class align start we call it the second one is align align center and the third is align end so in here we have align start so we have a property called align self and here we say flex start and it will start at the top we are aligning thing in the cross axis so it will take from up to bottom so and the second one is let's say align self and let's say center because here we not use flex center but we just call it center so now let's just set them at the center in order to see how close they are so say center and as you see here they are you know set them as vertically and up you know start is top and end is bottom so we can place them as we want we can you know set the center as a flex start and we can set this to you know end you can play with them as you want and another example that i i want to show you is that flex direction and uh, let's just go here and add three simple boxes now i have three items here one two three and let's go there and apply the same uh, style for the boxes now i have three boxes here three items and let's call the class of our container we name it flex container and it is number four so in here display flex and now it is a column so and now let's say row now we have the row and we have row reverse which is simply start from three to one in different direction and when we say justify content here we can apply justify content we say start make it smaller in order to see let's say 100 pixel so now we have we have a justify content and let's say start and now it is start at the uh, at the default that is started in the beginning so let's say center and in the center as a row reverse we can change this to only row and now it's one two three as row and we can use column reverse as well and column reverse as you see start from three to one so let's just stick to our row and it is center another property that i want to show you is flex basis and we are you know choosing the same example as we did for the flex container 4 and in that we choose you know display flex we say flex wrap wrap and we you know choose align content here the property you know this property control whether the flex item are forced into a single line or run you know or can be wrapped onto multiple lines the value wrap allow you know the item to wrap onto multiple lines from top to bottom align content say space between and let's give it to height 300 300 pixel and let's give it to background in order to see where the where the item is moving and we need instead of which we use property called flex basis so you know flex basis is you know specify the initial size of flex item before any available space is distributed according to flex factor in the flex container when i set a specific size like 100 pixel or 200 pixel or 40 percent of so it tells the item that it look like it width or height properly 
depending on flex direction or initial size. Work with the flex grow and shrink properties and determine the final size of the flex item. So let's say 20% of uh, flex basis. So now the size is changed and when say 40% you know it is automatically when the space is not enough it placed it on an available space on the bottom so when you see shrinking down you know when its size come to the you know 100 pixel it automatically change the size of it and you know place it at the bottom of flex basis is you know work at the width of of the flex container but you need to set a wrap uh, property in order to function you know properly that is all for today thank you so much for tuning in if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumb up and if you want to see more content like this consider subscribing to my channel until next happy coding